And I've been arguing with this atheist lately, and his name is Big Lundy. Well, that's his YouTube username. And, you know, for the first part, he... I mean, for the most part, he's, you know, a pretty cool guy. You know, I'm just your average Joe atheist. Um, but, you know, the last few moments that we were having our conversation was getting a little frustrating. And that's why I decided to make this video in hopes that Big Lundy would watch this and um, consider why I haven't been able to get through to him. Now, the main thing we were arguing about was the validity of Alvin Plantinga's ontological argument. This is different from St. Anselm's ontological argument because St. Anselm's ontological argument is seen as invalid uh, by modern philosophy. And the reason for this is because of the Critique of Pure Reason written by Immanuel Kant, in which he states that St. Anselm's ontological argument tries to say that existence is a property of something. But we see in modern logic today that existence cannot, whether or not something exists, cannot be a property of that something because things that don't exist can't have properties. But nevertheless, for some reason, Big Lundy seems to try to, seems to think that, and try to say that Alvin Plantinga's ontological argument tries to commit this and tries to add existence to the attribute list of God. And it doesn't do this. Alvin Plantinga wrote this argument as a response to the critique of pure reason and the refutation that Immanuel Kant gave to St. Anselm's ontological argument. And knowing this in hand, no one would try to say that Alvin Plantinga, full knowing that modern logic does not see existence as a property, would commit the same fallacy, or could commit the same error. But for some reason, he still seems to think that that refutation is valid. Even though I stated this, it seems like he, he hasn't even read what I wrote. And, I mean, you know, when it comes down to that, when we're not even communicating, we're just throwing stuff at each other, that's not, that's not an argument, that's like a fight. I mean, it, it's just very frustrating. Another thing we were arguing about is whether or not matter is eternal. And Big Lundy tries to say it is eternal because matter is made of energy, and energy is eternal. Well, when you fuse antimatter with matter, it gets destroyed, it gets converted to energy. And Big Lundy says that, well, it's still not destroyed because energy is matter. That's like trying to say that when milk is turned to butter, it's still milk. I mean, and it, I, I've tried to point this out to him, but he doesn't seem to get it. I tried to say, you know, if you melt a car of steel, liquid steel, it's no longer a car. Just as when you convert matter to energy, it's no longer matter. When you turn milk into butter, it's no longer milk, it's butter. When you turn butter, I mean, if you could turn butter into milk, and you can't do that, but if you could, then it wouldn't be butter, it would be milk. I mean, if it was the same, we wouldn't have different names for them. So, I mean, I, I don't understand, Big Lundy, why you are not seeing this. And, I, I mean, if you can't watch this video and say, okay, well maybe he's right, because milk is not butter and butter is not milk. If they were, they, they, would ha they wouldn't have different names. Then I just don't know what else to say. I mean, when you argue with somebody, you have to get to the belief that um, holds that argument for that person. And if I can't get past that belief, I can't make an argument to you. So, I mean, I don't know, <laughs> hopefully, you know, hearing me talk about it in person, it might get through to you. Uh, so, 
Yeah. Thanks for watching if you did.